No, Kohen Rabbi. So we're on. We are on Memhe, Amid Aleph, forty-five. So the, the according to Rabbi Kiva, Mishras, the Chachamim learned the fact that you, if you soak grapes in water, uh, the the water uh, takes the, gets the flavor. And there's a principle called Tom Ki'ikr. The flavor is like having the Isra itself. That's what they learned Mishras. But Rabbi Kiva learned Mishras is that if you take a half a kazayas of a hector, like bread, and half a kazayas of the grape and mix them, the Nozer will get Malkus for eating the combination. So the Gemara then wants to know then, how come Rabbi Kiva doesn't learn that that's according to Rikiva, that should be the din for all of the Risur. Amrle, you can't learn out that din to other Risurim for a technical reason. Mishum Dabin Nozir Vachatis, Shneik Suvma Bon Keechod. We're going to see that by Achatis has the same din. Now, the principle of binyan av is a principle that if you learn a certain principle by one halacha, you can apply it to other halachas as well, unless you have a svara to say not, or unless you have two psukim in the Torah, okay. Ernie. What's the other? Oh, good. Chattis Mahi, the Tanya. Ernie, your your internet is very schwach. How do you know that? Because I see the red arrows. I'm sitting where I normally sit. What do you mean? I know. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. We view back two lines because we missed you. Everybody missed your, your the last uh, 30, 60 seconds. So go back to where Sevei Malamdin. You got to start from there. Okay. Because we did hear you. We did not hear you. Really? So, sorry. Yeah. I mean, that's a fact, okay. you know. No problem. Okay. Okay. So, so we said that Mishras is the din by a nausea that if you take grapes and you soak it in water, the Chachamim learn out that it's also because of a Tam Ke'ikr. But Rabbi Kiva learned out, no, you don't learn out, you learn Mishras teaches you the din of Heter Mitzdarf Le'isr. If I have a half a kazais of bread and a half a kazais of grapes, and I eat that, the nausea would be Kiat Malkus for that. So the Gemara asks, and how come we don't learn that to all other Yisrim Batar, like Chaleb, Nevela, Dam, every Orla? So because there's a because there's another halacha by Achatas, which is the same concept of Hetem and Strafli Yisr. Now the concept of a Binyan Av is if I learn a certain principle by one mitzvah, I can. transfer that concept to all other issues, all other mitzvahs. But if I learn that principle from two different psukim, we have a principle called shnei ksum abam ke'echad e'en malamdin. And that's why Rabbi Kiba doesn't learn it out to the other Isur and Shabbat Torah. It's only by Nazir. Where do you see the shnei ksum? Nazir hadamor. Chatas mai. What's the case of chatas where we say Hetter mitzrafli iser the time. It says kol asher yigab if sarai yigdash. You have a piece of chatas meat. If it touches another piece of meat, wherever that meat touches, also becomes prohibited like a chatas. So yachol afid lo bala. Maybe that would only work if it if. 
Rabari, I'm teaching. Sorry. Yachalafi Lobala, I might think that even if the if it that did not absorb any flavor or anything from the chattis, Tamud Lava Bavsara Yigdash. Achi Bala Babasa. No. There has to be transfer of Tam from the chattis to another piece of meat. And what happens to that other piece of meat? Yigdash, Lios Kamoa. It becomes like the chattis. That number one, she impsulahi. If the chattis was a puzzle, the chattis tiposil, then the and you and you wouldn't be allowed to eat the chattis. You wouldn't be allowed to eat the piece of meat that it touched. The imksheira he, if the chattis is a kosher kshera that the kohanim are going to eat, teochel kachomer shaba. The piece of meat that this chattis touched now can only be eaten. With all the stringency of a chattis, which is can only be eaten by Kohanim, can only be eaten in the Azara. Now, and Rabbi Kiva learns that this concept of the Isser is Heter Mitzrafla Isser. And therefore, you have two Dinim, Nazar and Chattis, and therefore, you can't learn that concept to other Isurim Shabbatoy. Freight the Gemara, the Rabbanon, Nami, who they learned Mishras to be Tom Ke'ikr, and that is transferable to other Isurim. We do say Tom Ke'ikr. So Freight the Gemara, Nehevi, Nazir Vachatus, Shnek, Son of Am, Ke'echad, Vehem, Alamdi. But maybe Nazir Vachatus, according to the Chacham, also should be Shnek, Son of Am, and therefore you can't learn the concept of Tom Ke'ikr to other Isurim. Amri, we answer Hanum Trichi. You know what? The terrace of Shnei Ksum Abam Ke'echad in Malamdin is only operative if you didn't really have a need to write those two psukim. But the Gemara is going to now show us that the Torah had to write those psukim. You couldn't have learned one out from the other. And there was Trichi. Since it's Trichi, there's no Ein Malamdin. Rabbi Kiva might srichi. However, Rabbi Kiva will say, it's not srichi. I don't need the, the two psukim, what you could have learned one from the other. So, officially, because of Rachman of Achatis, I understand if you would have written it by Achatis, you wouldn't have been able to learn Nazir because Nazir is not Kotchim. Nazir involves Chulim. And you can't learn out chulin from kachin. Ella licht of Rachmana ben Nazir. The Torah could have written it by Nazir. The tesei chatis for tikkur minay, and the din of chatis from a kavachoymer. If it works by a Nazir, it should certainly work by a chatis. The whole kol yisurim should be Torah kagomer min Nazir. In fact, like we learned yesterday, all the yisurim of Tom Kikar is learned from Nazir because it's considered lenient. You can ask a chacham to be matir neder. It's only a thirty-day yisur. It's not permanent. We learned that yesterday. So you could have it, it, you could have learned one from the other. So it's it's not tzrichi, and that's why Rabbi Kiva can say shnekes of Rabbi Kehareim alafim. So how did the Rabbanon respond to that? How did the Rabbanon say it is tzrichi? Rabbanon amilacha no mitzvah tzrichi, because each it's not teaching you the same halacha. Chatis lehet to mitzraf leisur. Chatis teaches me the principle of a half a kazayis of heter being mitzraf with a kazayis of this or the chulim kachim la gama. And you wouldn't have been able to learn the dinim of chulim from kachim. U mishras is a different halacha. Litein tam ki eker. U mikarat adal chol atarakul. But Rabbi Kiva learns Tarvai Lehat and Mitzraf Le'isr. Both Dinim are teaching you the same halacha. And therefore, Havalu Shnei Ksum Abam Kecha, V'chol Shnei Ksum Abam Kecha, Dei Malamdin. Period. Arun Le'vashin Rav Ka'ano. So Rav Asha asks us very strong kasha. Elaha desan yomikol asher yeyasa migefen ayayim. Mechart sanim v'yad zag lo yeachel. The Pesuk says anything that is made from the vine, wine, branches, leaves, sediment, it's all awesome. 
Limit al Isur and Nos Tarfim Zemze. Let's say I don't have a full Kazai scrapes. I have a half a Kazai's grapes, a half a Kazai's of branches. The din is, it's with starif. Now, Hashal Rekiva Isra had to mit in. Rabbi Kiva has already taught us that if you take a heterdic, a piece of bread, which is not osir, and you have a half a kazais of bread, and you soak it in wine, half a kazais of wine, and now I have a kazais of a combination, Rabbi Kiva told me, heter, it's mitzvah for isra, I get malchus. Well, if a, if a dvar heter will be mitzvah for the dvar isr, isr vi isr boy, why would I need a pasuk to tell me that because by 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 a nazir, both the wine and the sediment and the branch and everything is osir. So isr and isr certainly will be mitzvah. Why would I need a pasuk to tell me that? Kasha and Rabbi Kiva, says Ravashi. Omer lay isr vehetem vas achas. When you soak a piece of bread and wine, you're eating the two things at the same time. It's bevasachas. But iser ve iser is bezacharzeh. It's even consequentially. For example, I eat a half a kazais of grapes, and five minutes later, I eat a half a kazais of the, of the sediment. So there, I needed a special puzzle to tell me that even if I don't eat a bevasachas, I will get malchus for the additive consecutive eating. Okay, Mishnah. You have a soup bowl and you have some dough that's in a crack in the soup bowl. If there's a kazayas of dough in one place, he has to get rid of it before Pesach. The imlo, if there's less than a kazayas, bottle the miuto then it becomes nullified to the Kli. And you don't have to be Mavaya before Pesach. L'chorah, if, it's, if there's no Kezayis. V'chein l'inyin Tumah. How does it work by Tumah? Im makpid alav. If the person doesn't want the dough there, he's not happy with the dough being there in the crack. Then when you go to be toivel that kli, the dough will be a chatzitza. But vimrotza bikiyumo. Let's say this dough is filling a crack in the bowl, which otherwise would leak, and you're happy. You want it basically nullified. You're happy that the dough is there because it's serving the, the, the purpose for the dish. Harehu kareva, then enechanami. Based on your intent and your happiness, it will not be chaitzitz. You can be toivim with in a mikvah and it's not a chaitzitz. That's what it means. V'chein le'inyin tumma. Om Rav Yudam HaShemuel. Hello, can I ask you? Can I ask you? If you say by the, if it's in the crack and you don't want it, it's not, it's not, it comes bottle. But I thought we say the mashihu. By, by, by Chomas Pesach, it's a fila mashihu. So how do you have, you just said, told me the other day, there's no, no bottle by, by Taruvis in, 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 in Pesach. Right. So, was, so, but, so, but, but, hang on. so here's. Chomets by food, Chomets by food is Osir B'mashuhu. No matter what shear of Chomets is in there, one tenth of a million, it, you may not eat that tarubis. That's what it means. Chomets is Osir B'mashuhu. Now, we learned yesterday, the last few days, you don't get Malkus for that. Uh, if you Remember, we already learned, you don't get Kares unless, unless you eat Chomets Be'en. Kazais of Chomets Be'en, not the tarubis. We learned that in general, the most punishment you can get by chametz in a taruvis, in a mixture with other foods, is malchus. And that's only if bichdei achilas pras, within a nine, and, a nine and a half minute period of time, you eat this taruvis, and the, there's a kazayis worth of chametz in that period of time that you wait the nine minutes. Then you get malchus. But, but if the chametz is in the, in the dish, so, you so don't that's care. True. 
Now here, here, this is, now this is, we're not eating this. This is a piece of dough in a kli. And the issue is you have to be mevire it. You have to get rid of it, tashbisu, prior to Pesach. So this mission has told us that if the piece, this piece of dough, uh, if it's less than a kezayis, that's being used to fill a crack and it's hardened, right? Then you don't have, and, it, and, it, and it's, you've been, it, it's, it's become bottled to the kli, then you don't have to be mavire it. That's, so we're not that, afraid it's going to come That's what we've learned so far. Uh, okay, okay. Not afraid it's going to come out then. But I was afraid it's going to come no, out. Uh, you're gonna, we will see as well. You can't knead dough there. If you if you took you can't knead something like let's say you're preparing a, a dough, you can't touch that area because we're concerned it'll be transferred something there. Yeah, that you can't do. That we'll learn later. We'll see what the halacha is. We're not we're not at the final halacha yet. We'll get to the final halacha regarding. This kli. On Rabbi Rami Shmuel, loy shanu. When do we say that if you have a kezayis in one place, you have to burn it, you have to destroy it before Pesach? El b'makom she'en asuyin lechazek. That's only if you find the this dough in a place in the bowl, like you know, that's not needed to strengthen the bowl. Like on the side, for example, or it's not a it's not a, an integral part of the bowl. For example, on the bottom. But in a place where you would normally put a piece of glue or something to fill the kli so it won't leak, then even if it was a kazayas, ain't a chayav levaya. It's bottled even with a kaz. That's one way of learning. We're gonna see. There's, a, there's an initial way of learning the Mishnah and there's a second way of learning the Mishnah. We'll see how we passed it. But right now, the first Lushan, the way Rabbi Ramesh learns, is Lakula. That you, even if it was a Kazayas, if it's a, if it's a Makum that, that strengthens the Kli, you would not have to get rid of it. And Michlal, we would deduce from that the Pachas Mikazas of Makum Shainos or Lechazik, Enochaim that if you're talking about with a piece of dough less than kazais, then even if it was not not in an important place to be mechazik, you wouldn't have to get rid of it. That's the first way that the Gemara analyzes the Mishnah. However, some people learn the statement of Rabbi Dhamar Shmuel on the Seifa of the Mishnah. Meaning, the Imlav, right, if it's not a kezayis b'malkam echad, bottle b'miuto. We said it's nullified to the kli. And on that, on Rabbi Rami Shmuel, loy shanu, ela b'malkam asri lechazik. When do we say, when do we say that it's bottle b'miuto and it's less than kezayis? That's when you, it was used in a place to strengthen the kli like on the bottom. But if it was less than Kazayas and it was located in an area that was not critical, you'd also be Chayav Levaya. And it comes out from this, the second version, the Kazayas, I feel Mokam Asur Lechazek Chayav Levaya. You'd have to get rid of it either way, even if it was in the bottom where it's, which it's needed to strengthen the clue. And the Gemara says, Tani Kalishna Kamo, Tani Kalishna Basro. We have two Baraisas. One like the first version, one like the second version. Tani Kalishna Kama, Vatsak Shibisit Kiareva, dough that was in the cracks of a kli. If it's a crack that you, you need it to strengthen the kli, and a chotzitz. It doesn't serve as a chatzitza by tuma, the ain't over. And you're not over by your by your matzik and get rid of it. However, if it's a if it's a place where it's not needed, then choitzitz for oiver. But that's by med varmo and bekazayis. Aval b'pachos bekazayis. I feel b'malkam sheinas v'lachazik ain't a choitzitz for oiver. That's like the first way we learn. The tiny kalishna basra. There's a brayso like the second lashon. Botzik shubesit kiareva. If there's dough in the cracks, b'malkam asur lachazik in the place 
needed to strengthen the cleat. It says, Eino chotze, it's not a chatzitz of Eino over. The mokum shein asu lechazek, if it's in a place that's not important, chotze, it's for over. And bamed varmuim bepochus mi kezayis. Aba mi kezayis, amre mokum asu lechazek, chotze, for over. So we pask in like the, like the second b'raisa. The Shulchan Aruch says, I'm reading Shulchan Aruch, Archaim, Taf Mem Beis, Simen Zayim. Botzeit Shevisid Ke Areva, Im Hayek Kezayis Mokam Echot, Chayi Bovar. If there's a Kezayis in one place, you got to get rid of it. Im Hayek Asur Lechazek Ke Areva, Botel. If it's in a place to strengthen the Kli, like on the bottom, it would be nullified, as long as who shall look at kezayis? It's like the it's like the second lashon that we learned. Okay, meme amet beis. Whatever you want to say, though, kashen adadi. The two brises you bought are the broader contradictory to each other. On Ravuna, same kilta mikami chamir. Remove the initial brisa, which was lenient. In the face of the second b'risa, which was Chomer. So Rav Yosef says, what are you talking about? Tano what? So you're going to make the, the, the Tana an invisible man? The, the Tana learned the first b'risa, well, how can you get rid of him? Tanoi. We don't get rid of it. We say it's like it's Tanoi. And I'll show you another place, another steer, another b'risa, which shows you that it's a like it's Tanoi. Hapas she'ivsha. A piece of bread got rotten. It's not really fit to be eaten. Chayim levay. You still have to get rid of it. Mipnei sheroy lesoichaka. You could soak it, and then and I guess rehydrate it. And then whatever leavening power is in that bread will cause other doughs to leaven. That's as long as this thing is somewhat edible. You have a piece of leavened dough that is hard as a rock. That now you designate it to sit as a chair. It's not food anymore. And you wouldn't have to get rid of it. Now, I'm Rav Shemin Alozer Botla. So we see there's a there's a machstir in Baraisa whether this dough when it is mavatl to the kli whether it goes away doesn't go away. So only I buy it to rafta be kazayis. Fine, you for answer by kazayis, but pachos make my kazayis meet to rats. But you didn't say because the case you just brought is a kazayis, not pachos make kazayis. Elo habar of shemelozri. Really, both prices were shimmed and lost. The like kasha depends. When do we prohibit the makam lisha? You're not, like I said before, you're not allowed to knead new dough over this area because it could absorb from there. Hashalob makam lisha, where it's permitted. That the prohibition is not on the the rim of the kli. El ashifta, that's like on the bottom. Or says pshita. Well, I understand that. Mao the same. No. Maybe I would be worried as well. Maybe as I'm kneading the dough, it'll jump up and touch the rim as well. Come on, I don't have to worry about it. I'm not going to rob. Allah is like Rabbi Shimon Allah. The Allah is like Rabbi Shimon Allah. More says, Aini, it's not so wrong. It's like Rabbi Shimon Allah. Because Rabbi Shimon Allah said, if I take a hard piece of chametz and I designate it as a makam yeshiva, then it's it's bottled. I don't have to worry about it anymore. What is any? That's some Amar Yisak Barashi Amarav im tach paner betit batla. If I coated this thing with clay, then it's bottled. But tach in loy tach lo. But that seems to imply that if I did not coat it with clay. It does not become bottle. How can you say then Gamliel? He didn't talk about coating it with clay. Yeah, because man the must be all must be all. The one who learned, the one who learned that didn't learn that. I mean, there are also the some more. I'm a roy, and what's the sheep that brought? 
And Ike the Amri, other people say, Amrav Dachman Amrav, ain't a lot of Gorm Shemil Lazar. The Amrav, Yitzhak Barashi Amrav, in Tach Pone Petit Petelot. Because they pointed out that Allah is not like him, because it showed that it's only if you coat that dried piece of chametz with clay does it become buffalo. But otherwise, it would not become buffalo. So the halacha is that if you have a kli in which you need dough, if it's covered with, with, with clay, then you'd be able to continue using it on pesa. Like we said, in tach kli, it's okay. You have two half kazayas. We said that if you have a full kazayas, it makes a difference whether you have to be mavar or not. What if you have two half kazayas and they're connected by a thread of dough in between themselves? So does the thread of dough combine them to be a kazayas? So we use the principle of Royan. Royan means we estimate. If the dough is strong enough that if I pick up the thread in the middle, both are lifted, then, then it's a, a good connection. But the Imla bin It's not, it doesn't combine it. When do we say that in a dish? Let's say you have two chatzizesim in a house connected by a thread. There you'd have to burn it. My time. Because the Zinn and the Kaddish, well, you'll sweep up the house. Then you'll bring these two together. And you're going to end up with a kazayas chametz, which you're going to be over by your own by your house. They asked theoretically in Eretz Yisrael the following. What about bayis va'aliyah? We said if it's one house, a one floor house, you have a half kazais, half kazais connected by a thread, we say you have to burn it. What about it's in a bias and an upstairs mouth? Or bias vach zandra, a bias in his patio. Shnei batim zelif mavi. That means they're not necessarily in the same. There, do we also worry that if you're going to clean up during Pesach, you're going to sweep up and they're going to come together again? Or, or, or do we don't worry about it? Teku, it's left. Teleo Nabi to tell us. The halacha is like Rav Nachman. The halacha, that if, if it's in a bowl, we see whether you can lift it. And we said in a house, you have to destroy it. Because sometimes you're going to gather it like Ula. But if they're in two separate places, you don't have to destroy it. Each one stays where it's still. They're stuck. We pass him like the Teku, Shu Safi Kedivre Soifrim, Lahakel. Like this whole thing is only a Midrabon on whether, you have, whether you, you have to, are we mid star of them or not. So since the Teku is, it's a Safi Kedivre we go look Ula. Do we ever have to make a chilik between a rich man and a poor man as far as as mevatel something like before if he, a piece of uh, bread that made into a chair uh, uh, a rich man or a poor, would never have consider that to be an anocha but a poor man might be. Do we ever make a chilik when it comes to something like that? As we were analyzing this, it did not. It did not. Uh, it did not make a distinction. Yeah, but it, it, we, it, we it, figure he did, he did bring figure in the case that when it says you took up if you hardened the chametz to a point where you and you were meyached it the yeshiva if bottle uh, it's a kolada that means I'm, uh, not, I'm not even sure it's right you like over here this hardened chametz who says I, I, it's not it's not a chametz it's not a mashu it became something right different. once you were once were me it's it's a different form. It clearly, butla becomes nullified. Koifes so or but but it got it has to reach that level. Koifes so or sheyichtel yeshiva butla. 
And then in that situation, you would not be chayv levair. We, we, you have to destroy it. Okay. Torah bottom. It's like Ernie. Ernie, yeah. it's like if you would, would starch a shirt for Pesach in the old days, they would use starch on the shirt, right? That's how they used to make it stiff. So, so, you, so you are high of, you, Walter, we've been dealing for the last week with chametz sticker products that we don't eat, but you still have to be, by your raw, by your mat, so you're going to be over. Yeah, but you can't be, you can't be, it, it takes a different form, just like the chair's taking a different form. It's I like my butter. I understand, but you, you saw that when we when we had a taruvis. That's a that, taruvis. That, 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 that the soy cream used for glue. So this was not to consume. That's why there's all these, uh, 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 the Coilo puts out these pitch, magazines, toothpaste and this. Well, there's, an issue, there's an issue with Play-Doh. It's 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 yeah. by Roy by your What's wrong with Plato? We've Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Play <laughs> we, we've already we've, we've already learned that eating this by if even if you eat chametz but tarufis, there's no kares. It's that's only osur b'mashu, but you can't eat it. But you get mal means consuming is one thing. And consuming, you got to consume. Yeah, but when you get kares. Up. So the, what we've been dealing with, how low does the chametz have to go so that you don't have to worry about your by your, by your mother? So a starch shirt. Uh, well, first of be, all, a starch shirt would it, probably be bottled. It's, it could it's be even, that, that it's like koifas or sheyich to yeshiva. That's we have to done that. Could be very well. It's one thing when, when, when I think there's difference between a liquid form there would be a difference between a liquid form when they talked about glue and all those other things, which are are are, are basically liquid. Liquid. It's it's liquefied. It's a liquefied form. So therefore, you could g gather out the chomets afterwards. That way, how you would be. How about back. let's let's look at Tosfos. Koifes saor, afo pi sheroy lachila, even shein mekai min oisay lachila botlo. So it's 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 more it's, it's a, even it's royal achila, but once you bottle it to, to a usage, to a different usage, then you, then 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 I, it's bottled. Glue, it's, glue they knew about because people were smelling glue at that time. Probably maybe they inhaled some of the chomets. You know how how people know how to smell glue, right? So I I, I think it's I think there has to be a difference in the form of the of of the thing that comes out. In, in order for you to be oy bear with the, it, it's not just the stump that, that there's a, a mixture of chomets from before, right? But it has to be in a different form. I, I, I never saw anything that was in a hardened form. In other words, the hardened form is a butler. The, the softer form, you could be oy bear. Yes. That's why toothpaste and makeup and all these things, you have to be very careful on. Play-Doh, you can push it around. But when it becomes hard, I think there's a different uh, there's a different I'm not and usage, no, and usage, and usage, and yeah. usage, and usage. If we're miyachin it for a usage that has, that, so it's bottled to that. Let me see what the right. We said painters, the zoom and shel tzvoim, die die, v'mel and shel tapachim. That they put. Remember they used. Uh, uh, Okay, weiter. Hapashi ipsha. You have a piece of bread that's that's ruined. Vinifsal mila echola adam. A human being won't eat it, but vakelav yachola ochol. But a dog would eat it. So number one, mitametumus oichlin bekebeza. It's not been removed from toiras oichel, and therefore, it will it will. Remember, in order for food to, to receive tumma, it's got to have at least kabetza. And this is food. You don't have to worry about being shoymer, because remember, we burn, let's say, tumma tmea that we burn with Pesach. Once it's nifsa, machila sodom, there's no problem. Remember, we, we, there's no problem with being metame, the tr adding tumma. We said, because it's not oichel anymore. So, 
משום רב נוסן אומרו אין הם מתאמו. רב נוסן says you, you, you still, you even, you still, still have to prevent it from becoming תאמי. Because we have an iser, don't, don't allow things to become תאמי. So כמן אז לא הדס נען, הוא נזפה עם משתגו לייק, כלל אמו בטהרה, זה general principle said by תאמי וטהרה. כלל יוחד לא יכלו אדם, if it's human food, תאמי, it will remain תאמי עד שיפוסו מלאכו לכלא. It loses its tumor once, once, so it's not like our mission, it's not like the Bryce we just quoted. Because here it's saying the tumor goes away once it's only Roy Lachila's killer. And our Bryce has said it's, it's, it's Roy Lachila's tumor. Keman de loik Rav Nosson. Obviously it's not like Rav Nosson who said you still have to worry about not being metami this. Ton Rabbonon, Arevas Ha'abdoni. These are the tanners of hides. And they used to put flour. So if it's within three days of Pesach, you'd have to get rid of it, you have to burn it. If it's, if it's four days or more before Pesach, because it's going to stink, it's going to smell, and nobody's going to get near it. When do we have this three-day business? If we haven't, if the hides haven't put in there. Even it's within the three days before Pesach, because the hides are going to cause it to smell. That the halacha, even if the hides are put in there, even an hour before Pesach, you wouldn't have to be mavired a chametz. Then we said, if you didn't want the dough to be there in the kli, it would be a chatzitza when you come to be toivalid. However, if the item in the kli, you want it to be there because it's fixing the kli, then it's not a chatzitza, a reu kareva. And, and the Mishnah seemed to compare the beginning cases, which talked about a kazayas or less than a kazayas, right? If you have a, well, we had a machloikas. If it's a kazai, less than a kazai, you, you could no, do whatever you want with it. And then the second version was no, even if it's pachas big kazai, you can't put it in a critical place. So the Gemara is now questioning what's the comparison between the beginning part of the Mishnah and the Tumma part? Hosam b'shiura talgen In the first part, you said if it's a kazai, it's or less than a kazai, that was the dif- differential factor. And in the same thing, it has to do with sheer. It has to do, we said, the subjective, if the person is happy that it's there because it's fixing the kli, then we say it's not a chatzitza. And if he's not happy, he would get rid of it, then it's a chatzitza. Then do a sheer. So the Gemara wants to say, how can you say bechein le'inyan tumma? L'chor, it's not talking about anything that's about the same thing. Uh, in fact, on Rav Yehuda, Eima, you have to amend our Mishnah. And you have to say, ain't okay. But regarding this Tuma business, whether you have to put it in, whether, you, whether it's a chatzitza for the mikvah or not, it's not related to shear, but rather it's related to kpeda. That's the first answer to the Gemara. Honor le'abaya. That's very interesting. We do these answers of ema where we make an emendation, and many times the Gemara is very happy with the emendation, right? The Gemara concludes, ain't okay, period. And the Gemara moves on. Here, Abaya comes to defend the authenticity and the integrity of the Mishnah. It doesn't say, ain't okay. It says, how can you just make an emendation? I'm, I'm just pointing out to all of us here that many, I mean, many times the Gemara makes an emendation that also adds words and changes the, the and yet it doesn't come to the defendant. It accepts it. Here, Abaya didn't accept it. So, so we have, we don't understand. 
how is the ratio connected to the seifa? And the Amr Abay Hachi come. The chain leinian siruf tuma bepesa. So f- for some reason, he, Abay, even though Abay is amending the Mishnah to different words, he's happier with that emendation. And we'll have to we'll have to study the uh, the emendation that Abay is proposing to resolve the stira, or not the stira, to make make us understand the Mishnah a little bit better. We'll learn that tomorrow. So. Yes.